this Spanish team have a point to prove. They went close against England. They were respectable against Australia. Do they sniff a victory against a dusty Samoa who haven't played World Series rugby in over two years? The intensity of the huddle tells you everything. Each victory, each match, each time pulling on the jersey is so cherished. And that there, that last man, Spain's all-time try scorer, leader on the HSBC World Series. Samoa get us underway and they flirt with that 10-meter line, but they drop short and it's possession to Spain. A chance to see the men in red attack early. On the side, yeah, trying to go the skyward there. Samoa pride themselves on their restarts in you know, the unfortunate way, but they're to their second favorite hobby, which is whacking people. <laughs> well, if that's their second favorite, you can't tell me that their third is scoring tries because it was tries a plenty against England. They put on a formidable display to beat England quite handsomely, but that's some lovely running, a wiggle of the hips and free and into the backfield of the Samoan defense. A lot of red jerseys lining up on the left-hand side. If Spain can fix their defenders, they dart back inside. A show, a go, and a double hit. The man almost held up, but told to release. Spain have it again, and they flash right. Another skip, looking for that offload on the inside. It's a thing of beauty, and Ceres opens the scoring. There is a one-two you're going to get in rugby sevens. The ball going wide initially. Paul Clark flirting with that touchline. Bounces on that inside. Beats two defenders. And then keeps the ball alive, all importantly then. The old one-two. Featuring Ceres and De Juan. You see the curator in the background. And the man who gets the cinco in the foreground. That is just the result that Spain wanted from their first attack, their first foray into the Samoan 22. Can they win it back from the kickoff? And they were galvanized in the way they played their game. Their home legs in both Balaga and Seville. Looking to those talismanic figures, the big men to create the offloads and then the playmakers to keep the pill and to move Samoa around. Well, they started with Gusto, Nieto. Moving the ball around so freely and getting that right arm free. Bill Juan, the creator of that first try. His big rangy limbs proving problematic for this Samoan defense. Ceres. The corridor is shut almost immediately. Moreno brought great energy when he came off the bench in the last match against Australia. And it's his energy that has been injected into this attack. Oh, wonderful footwork, almost free. Spain 10 meters shy. Ceres distributing. Moreno all the way to Nieto. Nieto getting that right arm free and the creator becomes the profiteer because Javier Do Juan gets his try. That will be a pleasure to re-watch in their analysis room when they go back and have a look at it. Three wins, look at the roll on the ball. Everything about that offload was perfect. Targeted the space in between two defenders, gets the fend out, and then De Juan knows exactly where he needs to be because more often than not, he's the one giving the offloads. Brilliant from Spain, the wits they're accruing, the legs, and accuracy of their passing. That is how you execute a game plan. Do you know what else? They've maximized both those tries. They race into a 14-point lead, and we've hardly seen Samoa and their deadly attackers oh, yeah. on the ball. On the center. Well, that is a pin-perfect kickoff, but Samoa, mercifully for them and their supporters, come away with possession. They need some time on the ball. Afasua. Takes it into contact. Just squirts out. Bit of a messy picture at the breakdown for Samoa.
finding space in the middle. It's Sione, Sione, all the way to the right corner. And one blink, and you'll miss him right through the middle. Sione gets Samoa on the board. And it would come through the middle, wouldn't it? Lovely footwork, the step, the spin, the balance, the poise. Get the ball back in two hands. It brings in De Juan, and that space that he has left exploited, overchasing defense. Not much Lopez can do about it. But that just shows how good Samoa can be, ball in hand, just haven't seen a huge amount of it. Well, Sione is a rare breed in this Samoan squad because he's actually played on the World Series before. Nine of the 12 selected have never, ever played at this level before. Quite remarkable, the contest that they are putting up against these top nations, all core nations at the HSBC Singapore Sevens this weekend. And one of them is Spain, who were hosts only a couple of months ago, flourishing, playing in their home territory. And just about flourishing still in this match, although a bit more pressure being applied by the boys in blue. Yep, first error we've seen there. Let's break this down now. Spain are playing a really wide game. They have 30 passes, but 13 carries, which means they're engaging with a Samoan defensive line. That is a danger because they do hurt people. Their rooks have been controlled. They've kept the possession. That's why Spain currently have the lead. Offloads is their game. Paul Scanlan in the 10 jersey, just ghosting through the defense. Oh, and he tries to smuggle the offload, but just forward. Steve Onasai seeking to make it three games in a row for a try. Well, you can see why Scanlon wanted to throw it. The referee on the other side had to go away with it. I love the fact Samo going back to their roots, which is route one. Straight down the middle, tackled, hop off the floor. It's an offload. It works really well for them. Well, route one on that occasion, but they've shown tremendous variety in the manner in which they've attacked these teams. Well-established teams as well, Australia, England, now Spain. And there's big rangy Manu Moreno going for a gallop through the middle. Steve Onasai with the wrap-up tackle. Spain, very comfortable in possession, very composed, just looking to find that seam between the two defenders and maybe sneak an offload. But that's not the area of the field that you want to give a penalty away. Samoa looking to end this half with a try, an equalizing try. Although they'll still trail, having missed the Best initial ten. conversion. Number four, hey, 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 hang on. Back ten, please. Can't take the second one quick. Referee on his laws, but this feels as though it's going to be crash time for Samoa. Well, they give it to the smallest man on the pitch, Paul Scanlon, who is fouled and wins a penalty. He's got a flag that is three penalties now within five metres of the Spanish line. Yellow card will subdue that one. Bit of footwork will do the trick eventually, and Onasai, he finally gets that try. He's done it against Australia, he did it against England. He makes it three in three group matches. It's a match of time, wasn't it? You knock at the door long enough, you'll get your chance. Lovely bit of footwork. The Samoan sidesteps, well practiced around the playgrounds of the world. Didn't need it there. That sounds like a man who's bought a few Samoan sidesteps <laughs> in his playing career, Rob Vickerman. Well, the conversion goes over, Spain still lead, but the momentum certainly with Samoa ending that half. Spain leading 14 points to 12. Well, this game has a real nice ebb and flow to it. Rob Vickerman. This is England. That's followed by Kenya versus Canada, and then the climax of this super session, South Africa against the USA. Spain leading by two points. Samoa know that they really, really need to win this. But if Spain win this, Australia beat England, then we're down to points difference. So don't put your calculators away yet. 
People would have had them out for Fiji, France and Ireland earlier. But Spain are looking to extend their score with some searching play down the right channels of this national stadium at the HSBC Singapore Sevens. Very measured, very composed of them thus far. It's in the hands of their arch try scorer who offloads to Eduardo Lopez, who just keeps on going. Time is off, time is off. We'll take guys. I'm not sure. I think that's Mataba out with an absolute worldie of a slide. He's Number seven for Samoa. To check that put his body in. between the ball and the turf. There's the sled pull on the side, getting a good carry. But Eduardo Lopez is one of those guys who just keeps on going and going and going. So that is technically perfect. Mataba out, he grabs the arm. It's almost like a UFC move. You're not that bothered about the ball, but if you control their arm, they can't roll the ball. If he's managed to stop that going down, that is commitment of the top draw. A big decision for our TMO here. No sighting of the grounding, is there? It's unsighted, that's the thing, isn't it? Unless this is the angle for it. But what a play. I mean, you've got to say, Matavao came from miles away there. Well, Milani Matavao, the Manu Samoa 15s player, scrum half, ordinarily. So used to text, there is no clear grounding. Therefore, it's held up. So held up. Thank you. <laughs> no clear grounding, held up. Try line heroics from Melani Matavao. And he denies Lopez, who's been in a real try scoring mood. 14 match, tries, including seven in Spain. That's how we sit no, no. at the moment Wait, in the group because Brooks. the head to head decides who sits between Samoa and Spain, but England is still to come. So there's still a lot of permutations. Spain could do themselves a real big favor here by scoring and opening up a two score advantage, but instead they cough up possession. They do precisely what they didn't want to do. And Owen Nue takes the lead for Samoa. If anything were to underline the impact of Matavao's efforts on the try line, it's seeing his teammate go 100 metres to the other end. But it's that shot, that big tackle. You always get a bonus point if you're a Samo and you make a hit like that on a side. Freeing it up, great reaction on the floor, and then the man with the wheels. Look at this, brilliant composure. You wouldn't have thought he's just played 10 minutes of sevens. Running down there like his fresh on the track at school and even a time for a shimmy in the dead ball area as well the 22 year old he's going to be around for a while if he keeps scoring like that deadly finishing from 80 meters out and now Samoa on top brilliant take high in the Singapore skies from Manu Moreno but Samoa come away with it. Some footwork, a wrap around. Samoa looking for the killer blow, trying to swat away that Spaniards okay. who are desperately trying to bring down these Samoans. The counter up comes in from the side, a lack of patience from Samoa, a let off for Spain and a chance to strike on the counter. And one of the towering presences there, Tobias Sage Javak out using every single inch of his arm to slap that ball down. I don't doubt it might well be him again featuring with his offloading skills. Eduardo Lopez so strong in the contact. We saw him dragging some Owens, but denied in a last ditch tackle. Moreno, he's impressed me so well. Snappy hands, it needed to be because it was a good read from the Samoan defense. Wow, Spain have manipulated this Spanish attack beautifully. Big pump action fan gets rid of Onosai. More slick passing from the Spaniards, but the defense holding strong, tired bodies out there. Samoa slow to realign. Gantpol, Platt. Pick them off. No, he can't. Entry. Goodness me, that is 
a feather in the defensive cap of Samoa. Spain are almost occurring triple figures in terms of their possession passes here. They're just going width to width. And it is so sapping in the middle. Every single width you do in the middle is some 60 meters of running. You do that 10 times. At the heart rate these players are playing at, it's just incredible that these Samoans are even breathing, yet alone walking around playing rugby. Tired, tired frames of big human beings who've been putting it out there. So only, six red. only carries counted if it's five steps with the ball, so you're, you're engaging the defensive line. That's why you're not seeing too many line breaks from Spain. But their number, number of passes they've accrued is up to 68. Their possession is phenomenal. Some are barely having the ball, yet are leading the game, which suggests that when they've got it, they're being typically brutal. Mark. Beating up the number teams, two. moving around. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And for me, Spain oh, still have a chance in this long. game because they must have exhausted the, the Samoan effort and energy Empty. levels. Well, another testament to the Samoan defence is the Spaniards have the joint second most line breaks in the series at the moment. Yet they've been restricted here against Samoa, who go on the attack looking to unlock this Spanish defence. Good tackling coming in. Samoa get the ball to the back of the ruck. They're under resource out wide. The possession is key. A dance and a hop and a goose step. Up to the halfway line. Holding. Number eight, Max back here. Yeah. Hang on. Well, Samoa lucky to get away with no yellow card for cynical play. Spain attack. <coughs> the brothers linking up. Backwards. It looks fatigued play out there at the moment. Ramos in the middle. Jags back inside, Lock on. and it's a loose pass behind his supporting player. Unfortunately, it did look like that bounced backwards, so it went back and bounced forwards. But this is an analogy, it's a boxing contest where Spain are basically trying to win the contest by jabbing. At no point are they really trying to throw that big shot. And they're playing against an exhausted Samoan team. And understandably, the amount of running in their legs in this game, in the humid conditions, in your third game, and what's been the first day of rugby for a long time for the Samoans. Still two minutes is when you look up at the screen, you cannot believe you've still got to go for some 120 seconds. This will feel like a long, long 120 seconds. Look at that tackle completion rate, so high from both sides. Samoa happy to go quickly, shape to kick, but thinks twice and keeps it in the hands and they give it to one of their flyers who looks to have escaped the exhausted clutches of the Spanish defense. Arms go up from the players not scoring because Samoa know just how important that try is. India, Sao Dui Huta, he's the man for Samoa. Well, it was always going to take an individual moment of brilliance as people begging for this man to get the ball. They know what he's about he wanted to kick it long that was the point for sell didn't fancy that gets the old chest pass out the goose step on the outside of martinez and then just fantastic effort mentioning about how Bam exhausted off. the samoan team will be to have energy to even dive at this point really will be celebrated in terms of character building you're not going to get a better test than what Samoa faced in this game it really is impressive Another conversion added and then another blow to the Spanish ambitions of turning this match around because Samoa find touch from the kickoff. Have you seen a demonstration of fresh legs quite like that this weekend, Rob Vickerman? Just that injection of a rested body picking off those exhausted Spanish defenders. Well, there's a number of names for them, aren't there? Impact players being one of them, but you're not going to get a better impact on the pitch than what you've seen there. Fresh legs is what you need after you've absorbed 3,000 jabs to put the heavyweight shot out. Balls up. This is impressive. And these are not normal tackles the Spanish have been putting in. These are tackles on big, physical, powerful Samoans who continue to rein in tackles of their own. Double knock on. Last 
Last scrum of the game. Samoa will want to register another score. Just nagging in the back of their mind is that if England beat Australia, then we're getting the abacuses out, everybody. <laughs> Crunch! This is sevens. It could well happen. It's going to be really interesting watching Mind. the body language at the end of this game. Mind. Talked about how Set. much effort they've put in Hold Samoa, in, but they will be fueled with adrenaline and big reaction when this ball goes out. Two sides absolutely shattered. And Yafata Purcell happy to coast across the touchline and wrap this game up that Samoa have had to fight all the way for, but they fought their way to a win. They defeat Spain 14 points to 26.